He's in prison for killing and cutting up his wife, and tonight John Strutz speaks only to Nine on Your Side about the crime he says he didn't commit. But his late wife's family is firing back, saying he is a lying psychopath. Nine on Your Side reporter Tom McKee is live reporting on emotions once in check, but once again, Tom, in the open. Well, that certainly is correct. Of course, we all know that Kristen Strutz was murdered in 2009 in Delhi Township, but only her torso was found. John Strutz was convicted of that crime here in 2010 and is now serving time at the Lebanon Correctional Institution. Now, earlier this week, he wrote me this letter from prison saying he wanted to tell his side of the story. So today, I met him behind the razor wire. John Strutz is 35 years old now, serving a sentence of 26 years to life at the Lebanon Correctional Institution for murdering his wife, Kristen, and dismembering her body. I'm locked in a cage for something I didn't do. And I, I want closure on all this more than anybody. I shared that comment with Kristen's mother, Karen Broering. I just think that he is some kind of psychopath, sociopath. Um, and he probably never will admit. Strutz says closure starts with DNA testing on a blonde hair he says was found on his wife's body. To me, that should, that should be a red flag. That why, did, why was it never tested? You know, that, that DNA was never tested. It was never even, to my knowledge, given to the defense. To be tested. That testing, he says, could lead to the real killer. I want to be proven my innocence, but I wanted to. I want this to. I want to find who's responsible. That's my number one goal in all this. I want to know who did this. Did you kill your wife? No, I did not. Did you have anything to do at all with her death? I had absolutely nothing to do with her death. Who did? I have no idea. How did she die? <laughs> I have no idea. Did you dismember her body? Absolutely not. Did you have anything to do with the dismemberment of her body? Absolutely not. Do you know where the rest of her remains? Are. I wish I did. I do not. He's not innocent. He's definitely not innocent. Karen Broing says the biggest impact has been on the four Struts children that she and her husband are now raising. I don't think the kids will ever be fully healed. Back behind bars, Struts became emotional talking about the children and Kristen. I dearly miss her and I, I miss my kids. I miss being a dad. I miss being a daddy. I miss hearing, hey daddy. I miss that. I mean, and the time I've lost, I can't get that back. But Broing isn't buying it. John just doesn't know how many people he's really victimized by this, by this murder. The bottom line is Strutz maintains the way he's been treated is a slap against the legal system. And the fact that nobody wants to step up and say, hey, there was a mistake here. Let's see if we could fix this. Instead, they just want to bury it in a, in a prison and just let it go let it sit, and sit in a prison cell and not worry about it. It's not fair. Now, prosecutors and police, though, disagree, saying that even though the evidence was circumstantial and no cause of death was ever determined, justice was served. Now, the biggest unanswered question still remains, did John Strutz have help committing these crimes? Tom McKee, not on your side, live downtown.